Hi peeps, my name is June, and today we're going to be playing Dave the Diver. I've seen a few YouTubers play this game already, um, haven't seen them play much of it, but, um, I love fish games. Like, fish, I used to want to be a marine biologist, actually, so, fish are my thing, um, but enough of that, let's just dive into it. Literally. Alright, we're on a beach. But like I've said, I've seen the beginning of this game. Um, I haven't seen too much of it, so... Luckily not a lot has been spoiled for me. But... I was recently gifted this game by my boyfriend. Thank you to him. And I'm very excited to play this game. Look at the little crab. Waddle away. This is Dave. Sir Dave. <laughs> I want sushi too. This gives me Hawaii vibes. Dave the Diver. Got your root beer. Also, if you hear me breathing horribly into the mic, I do apologize. I've been sick for like a month and I still sound nasally. It's it's been rough. Ooh, we're landing. Let's go. Alright. Oh. oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Cobra. I like your shirt. Mm -hmm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. Just picking up crabs and stuff. So where's the sushi at? Me too, Dave. Me too. Oh. Ha ha ha, don't rush yourself, have a look around. Okay. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. What does it mean by a giant blue hole? Is that like a fishing spot? It's like the only thing I can think okay. what that means. It's not just the size, everything you- any- Wow. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means- <laughs> This could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? Oh. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. <laughs> mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. Why not? I'm sure you'll be great. Alright, W-A-S-A-D. That's a weird way to organize that. A nice little boat. I like the background cliffs. They're nice. All right, let's go for a dive. You can see little fishies down there. Clownfish, about 15 centimeters long. Oh. Ooh. Nice form. Haha. -ha. All right. How about try stretching out a bit? Don't mind if I do. Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. It's really not much faster, though. Okay. Right here. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. That does not sound like a compliment. Maybe they're fast though. I could be very wrong. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the bleep key. Come here fishy. Come here. Come here Dory. What about you guys? 
can't even reach them. <laughs> well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first, and then... Hmm. Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch. Let's say three fish. Aim with bleep. Fire with bleep. Now try it out yourself. Okay. Ah. Okay. Does not go very far. Ah, got you. Sea Goldie. Oh, I think that should get you back on track in no time. Alright, come back up to the boat. Yes, sir. I will do that. Okay, now that you've got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Soft fish meat and oily rice, that does not sound appetizing. Well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Mm -hmm. I'm already craving it. Oh. I bet. Oh. Why don't you join me on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? Mm. I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Oh. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all set. Oh. Already. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Oh. Doesn't sound too bad, right? <laughs> Um, I don't really have any money on me. I don't think I can pay. That reminds me. I just remembered that a while ago you broke my underwater drone. This guy is really gonna guilt trip us right now. The repair cost was about 500 gold, but I didn't charge you for it. It broke after five seconds of use. It was broken already, wasn't it? What do you mean? It was totally fine. Well, okay, so what should I do? It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. This man really did just guilt trip me into that. Go! Let's go to the sushi bar. Hey, Bancho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Mm. Oh, it's already finished? Mm. You? Yeah, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. And this is Sir Bancho. Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Mm. Alright, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. Mm. So you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna, belly, eel, sea urchin. I've had eel. I texture was weird oh boy just thinking about it makes my water my, my water mouth yes it makes my mouth water just as mediocre as expected sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land to symbolize its mother nature herself most people however have only tasted more accessible fish just like you how empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty mother nature can offer my calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Mm. Kitty! Run, kitty! Earthquake! Mm. An earthquake? Mm. The interior is really quite a mess. Mm. Looks like we will have to delay the opening today. Mm. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover their repair costs through doing business. In this state, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. 
first we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Okay. Well, I have something I just caught. Mm. Not you. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go catch seven more first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Oh. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword in the whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. How are you going to serve food on a table like that? It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident in purple. It's nice to see him like this. The incident in purple. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. So go catch seven fish first. Sure, why don't... Oh! Storage. Charm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Oh. What a weird looking fish. Don't like that one. Not one bit. Alright. Alright, so we gotta make a oh, 100 gold. Can you guys? Yeah, you can see that. Okay. 100 gold and catch seven fish. Dory! I'm sorry, Dory. Blue tang. Can I catch these little guys? Oh, yeah. Cardinal fish. What if I just get like a bunch of you guys? Black spot sea brain. Can I? I don't want to do this. Okay, good. Makes me feel a little better. Ha! Another sea brain. Gotcha! Rainbow. R I have no idea how to say that. Oh, look at the little orange fish. Gotcha! Orbicular Batfish. Okay. Let me just try to get some of these around here. My weight is down here. 3.6 out of 9. Well, I got my 7 fish. Oh, those are weird. Oh. I should probably try to get a few more. Maybe fill up my weight capacity. Got my blue team. Oh, yeah, great. I can barely see these guys, they're so small. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna try to catch as many as I can, honestly. Should I go further? <laughs> further down? Ooh, what are you? Ooh, uh, oh! Ah! Okay. Yellowback Fus. Ooh, you're pretty. Oh. It's gonna take more than one hit for you. Come on. Oh god! Okay. Mediterranean parrotfish. Come on! Come on! There you go. Okay, now I'm encumbered. Let's go up. Okay. 
Here we go. Alright, looks like it caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Sure. Mediterranean parrotfish with my biggest fish. 17. Not bad. Hm. Alright. Wrap up your day and get things oh. ready. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Okay. Why not? Sushi! Bancho, how are the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Man, I'm doing everything around here. Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay. Here, you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay. Oh, it's not letting me click on anything. Close the window. Alright, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay. I mean, this one sells for a lot. Okay. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Only food on the menu can be sold. I mean, that makes sense. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Okay. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Alright. Um, I have a lot of this one. So let's do those. Um... Those are basically the same. There's a lot of those as well. And then I might as well do this one. Okay. Alright. Green tea and norimaki. Close. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Mm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Mm. No, only soft drinks, I think. Don't machines normally do the soft drinks for you? Mm. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Okay, S to pour the right amount. Right there. Oops, yeah. Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? <coughs> mm. 
come over to where I am and take this food. You can dash when serving food. Use shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. All right. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Oh. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. That is a waste. Seems like such a waste of th Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Bancho Suvi never- Sushi never uses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Then just eat it. <laughs> Alright. No, you should just eat the food. That's bad. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. <laughs> Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Okay. Got it. Alright. Let's open up. This place a mess. Open! Oh, the sushi explosion. Oh, they sound weird. Oh. What's this? You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill wasabi before it runs out. Okay. Okay. Uh... I think you ordered first. I wasn't paying- whoops, wrong person. Was not paying attention. Um... Since you're further, I'll go to you. You're right here. And then yours is right here. You're gonna faint from hunger. Okay. Wow. Alright. Okay. I just love the tank behind him. Cool. Oh, a lot of customers. Oh, wait, what is this? I have to clean? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Yush. There you go. I think that was everybody. Close for the day, Bancho Sushi. Oh, wow. Oh, I almost got the 100 for the repairs. Mediterranean parrotfish sold the best. Wow. That's nice. Alright. At the low. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. I see. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Alright, Bancho. Work it on. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> Man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. I mean, I'll take a compliment when I get one. Yeah, yeah, alright. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. He's like so proud when he stands and talks. Oh, the art style is different for this one. Oh! He's like, my Amazon packages! That's where you've been. Or just take the whole boat. Why not? Alright, sea monster. I'm sure we're gonna run into you. Ellie! Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. 
What's wrong with Dave? I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, it wasn't refusing, I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. You know, I don't think I'd want to do that either for her. You can use your phone to check- wow. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current missions, and more. I don't know how I got check from here to right there while I was reading, but... Sure. Alright. Um... Okay, so... You guys can't see the, uh... But just for now, there you go. So we gotta make 100 gold and acquire two agar and two red starfish. And I almost made enough to cover the repairs last time. But not quite. So let's go for a dive. Black spot sea bream. So pretty. Oh, scare those dories away. All right. I should probably get more of the same type of fish. Um, blue tape. I think that'd be good for the amount of sushi we can make for them. Ooh, look, starfish. Not the one I needed though. I think I needed a red starfish. Ew, look at the eel. Slimy creature. Is that a crock pot? Don't you dare, boy. Don't you dare. Black vinegar. That's an ingredient. Wood. That fish gives me nightmares. It's gonna be in my dreams tonight. Oh, was that the me Mediterranean fish that we caught earlier? That thing sold for so much. Come here. I need you for my sushi. Yeah! That thing is like so intense. It's got the exclam exclamation point in everything. That's a big fish. Got pink lipstick and everything. Come on. Oh. Got you. Oh. Little diamonds up here. Oh, is this what I need? Agar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Red starfish. Okay. So I need one more red starfish. You know, it'd probably be better to move. Yeah. I apologize for doing that in the middle of uh, the video here, but I think that's going to be the best spot for this game. Oh, pufferfish. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, lagoon triggerfish. Oh, I kind of want one other one of you. No. What about you? What are you? Wow, I am really bad at this. Okay. Oh. Oh my 
trash. I really want you. Come here. So bad. Like, me and the aiming just does not get along. Which is why I don't play first person shooter games. Um, I'm honestly one of the worst players. I'm like one of those people that like to camp too and just hide. Ooh, oxygen. Yes. Honestly, these fish. Um, I love how so many games can teach you about a bunch of different creatures. Like, I've played a lot of Animal Crossing, and because of that, I feel like I can look at some of, not a lot of these fish, but like some of these fish, and be like, I know what you are. You were in my other game. Probably because you're an actual fish. But I've always found that to be kind of cool. Come on. Oh, I am over and covered. I think I still needed a starfish though. So I'd like to find that before we head back. There's more gar. There's more oxygen. That'll help. Ooh, starfish. Perfect. And then we can just swim back up for more air. Or to go back to the boat, I mean. Awesome. Alright. Time to go back. I didn't really get as many fish as I wanted to this time, but... That's okay. We got our objective done, at least. Hello, Ellie. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecolog ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Thank you. I've got olive oil and soy sauce. And some monies. Nice. Oh, Dave, you collected a hundred gold! Great job, this should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time, those repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Sweet. Eleven fish this time. Not as much as last time. I don't understand what this top number means. I'm not sure. But, oh well. Okay. We got some cooking ingredients too. Nice. Alright. Boncho oh. is ready. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go deeper. Well. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Oh. Perhaps something puts them on edge. I don't know, it says Amazon packages not being delivered. Oh. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? Mm. A gun? Oh. I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. <laughs> wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is the goofy looking guy next to you? Oh, he's talking about Dave, man. <laughs> Okay, you're not one to talk, buddy. Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. That's like the nicest way of saying, you do not look like the part, man. People who live in glass houses. Okay. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. I need your help. Hello. Hmm, season two of Straw Stella in green. Just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. 
<laughs> a little logo and everything. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, an equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. That is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. Yeah. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. Yeah. This will especially this will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Yeah. So we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Yeah. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. Yeah. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. In green. You heard him, right? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Oh, that's a pretty big penalty. Alright. Ellie has been added. Okay. I think that's going to end it there for this episode. I might make them longer the more I play, but definitely for the starter one, I'm just going to have to stop here. But this is fun. I, I'm i loving this game. It is super cute. I'm loving the aesthetic of it. And the art style is absolutely amazing. So, until next time. Peace.